This is why the narcissist can't stand your happiness. Narcissists know when you are done with them. They know when you know that they're fake. They know when you're fed up. They know when you can't be bothered anymore. They know because they've seen it before. So they're already anticipating it. They're waiting for you to get tired of dealing with them. And they sense when your energy is slipping away. They know when your energy has shifted. They know it all too well because they're always depleted. They have these insatiable desires. But they're impossible to satisfy. They will always desire more. So they will never be happy. They will always be longing and yearning for what other people have. Because they feel empty inside. And they try to train you to feel the same way. So that at least then you're on their level. And you can match their energy. And then they will feel comfortable around you. Then they can stay calm and relaxed. Because they can't be around someone who is satisfied. Someone who feels whole and complete. They can instantly sense that energy. Which is why they only come around you to drain you. They're not coming to you to lift you up. Because they don't even have anything to give to you. So they're only coming around to drain you of your resources and positive energy. Because they don't have anything of their own. They're trying to take away your tendency to be positive and optimistic. Because they know when you're getting better. They know when you're beginning to heal. And that is the last thing they want to see. Because they can't do anything with that. It does nothing for them. Because they feed off your misery. They feed off your mental distress and discomfort. It gives them satisfaction. As long as you're hurt. As long as you're missing them. It brings them amusement and enjoyment. It feeds their ego and they don't even have to be around you to feel it. They feel it instinctually. They sense your emotional state. They already know where you are in the mind. Even when you're not around them. And you can try to act indifferent. But they can hear it in your voice. They can see it in your body language and facial expressions. Because they pick up on the slightest things. Which gives them the advantage. Because they can see things that are normally out of sight. Things that are outside of a regular person's perception. They know when you're still going through it. They know when you're still dissatisfied. And they love it. It makes them feel good. Because they want you to be unhappy just like them. It brings them so much joy. But as soon as you reclaim your confidence. And things start to make more sense to you. About who they are. And what they're really about. And you start to resonate with more positive and uplifting things. You begin to detach from the toxic connections that you made with them. You begin to heal the wounds which were caused by what they inflicted upon you. 
you feel less pain because now you begin to understand and as soon as you do that they feel it they feel that they're no longer affecting you even if you're not around them they can sense it they know and they begin to feel intense sorrow they begin to feel a sense of loss it begins to hurt them because there was a moment where they had you but now you're not tied to them anymore you're undoing the psychological damage which they produced emotionally and then delivered to you so then their pain and negativity no longer resonates with you you begin to pull away from it you begin to feel better you become less anxious and they sense it they know when you're no longer thinking about them so even if you say that you're okay they will still be able to sense it in your energy because it's striking them energetically it doesn't work if you try to play it off it has to come from your internal energy because that's what tells them you're in a state of generally satisfactory health and well-being it tells them that you have everything you need and when they feel that energy of you being set free of you escaping from confinement of you feeling happy and contented they feel a sense of loss it destroys them they just don't know how to deal with that energy they're uncomfortable with anything that has been suited to serve a purpose well anything that has the quality of being useful practical and right for the purpose for which it was made they prefer dysfunctionality it's what they're used to so they prefer it when people are unhappy because they contaminate everything that they're around which is how they know when you finally heal from something that's the whole point of why they came back to deprive you of your qualities and virtues again because that's what gives you the energy that you have they can't stand your happiness they can't leave you alone when things are going well for you unless they know that they can't do anything about it because they can't survive around someone like that if they're not getting anything out of it because they only come around you to destroy your happiness and well-being that's the only reason they're even there to take away your peace and contentment your love and joy because they can't participate in that they can't be a part of it because it does nothing for them and they don't have any love to share with you so all they can do is bring you down to their level by giving you an image of what you might want to see and they do that by robbing you and then reflecting it back to you because they don't have anything of their own they're like a bottomless pit an endless void anything you give to them will disappear without a trace it will never come back it will never amount to anything good and it will never mean anything because they can't use your energy in the same state as what you give to them they have to transmute it into something else 
it has to become something negative. Because that's the only way that they're going to be able to vibe with it. They can't enjoy or feel inspired by your positive vibes. It has to be turned into something else. Which they will then use to destroy you. So it will never replenish you. Which is why by the time you're done with them. You'll feel like you're deprived of your strength and vitality. You'll feel unhappy. Because you can't include yourself in that type of activity. And you'll feel completely useless and worthless. Because you've been overused and misused. You've been used for the wrong purpose. They've broken your spirit. That force within you that is meant to give you life, energy and power. But when you organize yourself again. In order to make a new effort. And you begin to love yourself again and it's genuine. They feel it and it eats away at them. They can't stand it. They become hateful, envious and jealous. Because you were meant to have given up all hope when they left you. They intended to crush your emotional strength, spirit and resistance where you would fail to continue with self-imposed discipline you weren't supposed to come back you weren't supposed to turn yourself into something greater than them because they expected you to fall apart without them but you didn't it just made you stronger it made you even more knowledgeable efficient and effective and that's what really gets to them there's nothing that hurts them more than to see you still being able to move on and obtain happiness despite everything they did to you which is something they still can't and will never be able to do they'll never get to experience true happiness and that sense of well-being which destroys them it's why they always want to bring you down to their level Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.